Thanks to David Aiken, and this is where we bring in our Danielle Smith from 770 CHQR. A uh, long night for you last night, Danielle. Still in Toronto this Holy morning. Holy cow. Yeah, I was up till 3.30 last night, up at 8 a.m. again this morning, but it's not because I was celebrating the election results last night. I, I, I think like a lot of Albertans, were kind of mystified by them. I can see now why the pollsters had such a difficult time calling this race, because Andrew Scheer won. He got the higher percentage of the popular vote. But because we in Alberta vote him in with 85% support in some of the ridings, uh, we have candidates uh, in, in, uh, in uh, the rest of the country running under the conservative banner that lose by a couple of hundred votes. And that makes all the difference. It's kind of remarkable how much a couple of percentage points difference in a couple of ridings can make to the, the way the election map looks. And so here's the problem we now face. You've got a prime minister who, especially when he decided to jump on stage at the same moment as Andrew Scheer took to the stage to try to crowd him out and not even give a, a, allow his concession speech to be heard, we've got a prime minister who didn't take the lesson of the election. The lesson of the election was that he did not win a majority. He did not win the popular vote. He lost ground. The NDs lost ground. The Greens didn't perform the way that they wanted to. And and yet those are the three that are celebrating as if they've won some grand victory. The country's very, very divided. And I think that Trudeau struck exactly the wrong tone last night by disrespecting Andrew Scheer. Albertans felt like it was disres disrespecting all of them. And I'm thinking we're going to have a very blistering call-in segment on our show today. Yeah, a lot of people talking about that this morning. And we do have that up on the Global Calgary uh, Facebook site if you want to see the moment uh, where the speeches sort of overlap there, uh, putting the TV networks a little bit in limbo. Let's talk, Danielle, about how to get um, the prairies represented at the table in this government. Well, I don't think it's possible, frankly. I think that we've got to stop looking at the federal government as the solution and look at the federal government as the problem. And we've got to find a way to work with our allies in the West to, to, to meet our own economic needs. And what I'm talking about is have partnerships with the Northwest Territories so that we can build an economic corridor to a deep water port and build it in Tukta uh, Work with our friends in Saskatchewan and Manitoba to do the same thing to Churchill. Build the infrastructure and the economy with the partners who want to work with us. And I think we now, once and for all, have to realize that the country's broken. The, the way the system is set up, it's rigged against conservative voters. You can win in a riding, especially when you look at the seat division. We've got a seat, it, it, I think somebody, one of my listeners gave me the, the stats that um, each riding in Alberta uh, has about 127,000 representatives. But when you go to Eastern Canada, some of those ridings have, have less than 50,000 people in them. And so if you've got a system like that where you can elect uh, members to the to the parliament with a fraction of the vote that's needed out here you can't win in that system so the system's got to change i think it starts by by looking at the things that we can do to take care of ourselves um and i i just can't i don't see much hope for 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 seeing a, a conservative government able to win under the, the 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 system that we have right now and i think that that's the real shame and that's the real conversation that we have about what we do next and you touched on it earlier it's going to be a very interesting call-in segment for you on your show this morning Danielle. So have a good one. Yeah, thank you.